Hello family, this is Greg from faithsmessenger.com. What I want to talk about today is walking worthy of the call that we have on our lives. Now, I'm not talking about the five-fold ministry gifts as outlined in Ephesians 4.11. What I'm talking about is us being called from out of the world, called to live sinless lives as opposed to the way we lived before we received Christ. We are indeed called to live a higher standard. Does that mean that we are going to be sinless in our lives? Absolutely not. Uh, we will never reach the point where we don't sin. But we do have an advocate with the Father. When we sin, we can take our sin before Him according to 1 John 1, 9 confess that sin and allow him to cleanse us from the unrighteousness of that sinful act and go on without feeling guilt, shame, or condemnation. What I'm talking about is what I call Jesus swag. Jesus had swag. Wherever he went, he was the man. He was the one in charge. He had something on his life that did not allow him to fit in. It did not allow him to become a part of his surroundings. When Jesus walked in the room, the atmosphere changed. He was the man. When an officer shows up on the scene, he's respected not necessarily because of who he is, but because of the power that he represents. I've had female partners, I've one particular partner I'm thinking of right now, she probably weighed somewhere in the neighborhood of 110 pounds. Now, physically, she wasn't very imposing, but I've seen her direct traffic. I've seen her stop 18 wheelers in their tracks just by raising her hand. They didn't stop because of her physically, who she was. They stopped because of who she represents. We represent the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. We have Almighty God that we're representing. We wield His power. When we show up, things should change. When we show up, the atmosphere around us should change. But how is that, how are we identified? How can we be identified as that, that agent, that representative of the power of God? Well. Our badge of identification is a badge of love. The Bible says, By this shall all men know that we are his disciples, because we have love one to another. An officer can be readily identified by his uniform. We should be readily identified by the love that we have for one another. So I need to ask you, how is your love life? Can you be readily identified? Can you be picked out of a crowd as an agent and or representative of God? If not, I would encourage you to get your Jesus swag on. Put your love badge on. Allow the love of God to flow out of you and affect the lives around you. Allow the world to see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Thanks a lot for your time, family. I love you. I pray for you. Get on our mailing list. Go to the blog. Subscribe to our channel. And be notified when new videos are posted. I'd like to leave you with this question. Ponder this question. Think about this question. Apply this question to whatever you may be going through in life right now. Is anything impossible with God? Have a great evening, folks. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.